Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I'm Carlton Duncan. And today, since everyone's on this shelter in place and all this coronavirus or COVID-19 going around, we're just going to do something easy because there's not much in stores. Luckily, we have stuff that we've kept around and we keep stocked up on stuff because of where we live here in Wyoming. Um, we're going to be doing some pork ribs on our pellet smoker. Now, you can do this recipe on any smoker. It's a simple recipe. Just something quick that you can do for your family if you're having a shelter in place or there's some states I understand are on lockdown right now. So, but this is something you can really, that's really easy to do. You can do it on any smoker. So let's get to it. Okay. What I've got here, I've got two racks of pork ribs. They're just the baby backs. I've already trimmed them and I've already pulled the uh, membrane off the back. So we're not going to go through that. Everybody knows how to do that. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the Chupacabra Cajun Blend. This is really good stuff. I like it on pork. And I'm just gonna put a good coat on the back side here. I'm not putting any binder or anything on this time. Just gonna, we're just gonna season them up. Just get a good coat on it here. Make sure you get all the edges real good. All the way down. Yeah, this COVID-19 or this coronavirus, man, it's got a lot of people panicking right now. And, you know, I don't want to catch it. I really don't. But, you know, I mean, all you can do is just try your best to, you know, use social distancing and, you know, wash your hands. I wash my hands all the time anyway, and I use a lot of uh, hand sanitizer. So, you know, I mean, just try, you know, try my best not to get it and, Hope for the best. That's about all you can do and just shelter in place and do what, you know, the the leaders in your states and your counties, they know what's going on. So just kind of listen to them. Okay, we got that on here, the Chupacabra Cajun blend. Now we're gonna turn these over and we're gonna do the same thing to this side. Just gonna put a good coat on it. on both of them and these are some pretty good ribs I got at Sam's here uh, several weeks ago okay I'm gonna pat these in we'll turn these over okay the next thing we're going to use is I've got some Killer Hogs The Barbecue Rub. I really like this stuff too. And this combination with the Killer Hogs and the Chupacabra Cajun Blend, it's fantastic on pork ribs. It really, it really sets them off. It really does good. So we're gonna get a good coat on these ribs, on all the edges. Yep, you just want to do the same thing. You just want to cover the edges real good all the way around. Okay, pat that in real good. Now we're going to turn these over. And we're going to do this side. Just put a good coat on them. Well, I like the color that it gives these ribs too. These two, these two rubs really, really make the colors stand out on these. Make outstanding color. Okay. All right, I got them seasoned up. Just gonna let these hang out here. We're gonna go out, we're gonna get our uh, pellet grill. We're gonna get it going. We're gonna be using cherry pellets today. So let me go get that going. We'll get these on, I'll be right back.
Okay, I got my smoke tube filled up with cherry pellets. We're gonna let that burn for a few minutes and I'll be right back. We'll have this ready to go on. As you can see, it's starting to snow now a little bit, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna get these on right quick. crunch them up because how you put them on there that's how they're going to cook okay all right get these closed up we'll be ready to go okay we had our ribs on for three hours and we pulled them off now we're going to wrap them and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to lay down about a half a stick of butter and I'm gonna go over it. I'm just gonna put down a little bit of brown sugar. Doesn't take a whole lot. Just a couple tablespoons is all you need. Okay, now then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some honey. And I'm gonna go over it. Just put a little bit of honey down. There we go, that's all we need. Now I'm gonna take these and they're going meat down. And we're just gonna wrap them tight. And do it this way first. This one right to the side right here. And then we're gonna do this one the same way. Just gonna put four slices of butter down. I still had a little bit of paper on it. And then we're gonna take some of the brown sugar we got here and we're just gonna sprinkle it over it. Just like that. Like I say it doesn't take a whole lot of brown sugar. A couple tablespoons maybe. Now we're going to take some little bit of honey put on it and now we're going to go meat side down right on top just like that. We're going to wrap these up. And one thing that I did do that I didn't show in here, every hour I went out and I spritzed these with a 50-50 mixture of apple cider vinegar and water. Just mixed it up in a little sprayer and went out and spritzed them. Now I'm going to put these back in here. Now I turned my pellet smoker up to 225. And I will put these back on for two hours, just like this, at 225. And after I get that done, we'll be back in here. We're going to finish them up. Okay, our ribs went two hours wrapped, and we, I pulled them off, brought them in, we drained all the fluid off of them, all the liquid that was in the aluminum foil. Now we're going to sauce them up, and you can use any barbecue sauce you like. I'm using the Heinz. Texas style, and we're just going to put a good coat on them. Good little coat. We're just going to do the top side, the meat side. That's all we're going to do. Good. Smear it on here real good. There we go. Put this one real good. Let's 
say, you're just going to do it real quick. Get that all sauce stuff, the barbecue sauce. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go get these back on. Now if you want it, if you want these to be fall off the bone, just fall off. You want to run it 45 minutes or an hour at 225, but if you like to have a little bit of bite to it, run it 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to go get these back on, and when we get them through, I'll be right back with you, and we'll show you how they turned out. Okay, we got the ribs off. Man, they look amazing, and they're smelling really good too. Uh, but before we tie it to them, let's kind of go over what we did. This is just a real easy way to do ribs that turn out really good during this time of you know, the pandemic, whenever you're stuck at your house and you really can't get out and about, you just want to cook something good to eat, pull these out of the freezer and just put a coat of the Chupacabra Cajun blend on it, some Killer Hogs Deep barbecue rub on it, put them on your smoker, your pellet grill or any other smoker you want at 180 degrees for three hours. Pull them off, wrap them up, Use a little bit of butter, four pats of, you know, half a stick of butter per uh, rack of ribs. A little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of honey. Put them back on there, raise the temperature up to 225. Once they've been on for two hours, pull them off. Put whatever your preferred barbecue sauce is. If you want to make homemade or if you just want to put some store bought you have sitting around on there, just give put a good coat of barbecue sauce on them. Put them back on there, just like this, back on your smoker. If you want it to have a little bit of bite to it, run it 20 to 30 minutes. If you just want them to be fall off the bone tender, run them for 45 minutes to an hour, and they're done. They're ready to go. And these look great. I mean, they turned out amazing to me. But it's real simple, real easy. So I'm fixing to cut this one up going to turn it over so I cut between the bones and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right down through here and I use cherry wood pellets on these I think cherry goes real well apple goes real well with pork too just going to cut a few of them here right between the bones I don't want to knock this off okay Take that one right there. Man, won't you look at that smoke ring? Man, they are absolutely perfect. And you want to spritz them every hour with a 50-50 mixture of apple cider vinegar and water. Just every hour go out on, on the first three hours and just spritz them. But you can see these are pretty close to fall off the bone here. But I'm fixing to give this one a try. Mm -mm. That is some good ribs right there. Quick, easy. Your family are going to love these. So, I really appreciate you joining me today. And I want everybody to be real safe out there. You know, let's practice social distancing. Stay at home if you don't have to be out and about. You know, just do what you have to do. And I want to thank everybody for watching my videos and all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I want to spend, send a special thanks out to all the men and women in the military. Not only are they serving around the world, now they're helping here with this pandemic. They're doing a wonderful job. And I want to send a special thanks out to all the first responders, your police, your EMS, your firefighters your doctors, everybody who's putting their life on the line for the people in this pandemic. Thank you very much. And please, everyone, be safe. Thank you.